All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a bootloader and software update on your Hyasung ATM that has a Win7 board. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is power off the machine. That's always what you wanna do. Now, your, this step is not uh, mandatory, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. If, if you want to have more access to the back of the ATM, all you gotta do is remove two screws. So out of these two screws, you're gonna to wanna to remove this one, which is furthest away. I'm gonna do that real quick. And that'll help me show you a little bit more, but it's not necessary. So you go on the same, on the other side, you do the same thing. So you remove the screw that's more towards the back of the ATM. This will allow you to flip the fascia like this, gives you more access and everything. Now, we're doing a Win7 bootloader update. I have other videos to help you identify which kind of board you have, but in a nutshell, this is the I.O. board right here. And on a Win7, you can see there's no um, main board piggybacking on the back of the I.O. board, which is a telltale sign that it's a Win7. So um, first thing we're going to do, make sure the ATM shut off. We're going to take our SD card, put it into this orientation right here, and we're going to pop it in. All right, so next thing we want to do is there's this little button right here, okay? So we're going to press on that little button, and at the same time that we have, we, we're holding this pressed, we are going to power on the machine, just like so. And there you go. So that's bringing us to the uh, this menu right here. Now we're going to click on SD card and you have the option to format and upgrade or just upgrade. In this case, we're not doing a format. Format is gonna clear the entire machine, the settings, you'll have to reprogram the whole thing. So all we're doing is an upgrade, which we're gonna press on that. And it's gonna take about maybe a less than a minute and you should see everything 100%. This is eventually gonna be 100% and there's gonna be another one for 100%. All right, so now it is uh, successfully completed and I have the option for reboot what I like to do before I click on reboot is I'm going to just remove the card and put it aside now I'm gonna click on reboot so it'll take about a minute or two to reboot I'll see you soon all right so now our ATM has successfully rebooted so now we're gonna log into the admin menu Okay, we're gonna wanna go to system setup. Then we're gonna go to system control. We're gonna go to software update. And before we actually initialize the update, we're gonna put back our, our SD card in the slot, just like so. And we're gonna click on USB software update. Even though it's an SD card, we're gonna click on USB software update. Do you want to update? Yes. So now what it's gonna do, it's gonna read the SD card and uh, do, go through like staging, cleaning, extracting to install the new software. Now, the SD card is used for a bootloader, which we did in the first part, but it can also do, do the actual uh, software update. If you were to do just the software update, you could do it with a, with a USB. And it's the, the process is the same as the second part. Instead of putting in the SD card, you would put in the um, USB. All right, so now uh, we didn't quite get that shot, but it says update success, rebooting the ATM. So our, our, now our ATM is rebooting and um, the update was a success. So thank you, have a great day.